I would like to talk about Black Letterman paradigm. Let's say Black Letterman framework because it integrates different, uh, different approaches for portfolio management, and it is very interesting because uh, Black Letterman is very interesting. You can integrate traditional portfolio managers, traditional, with quantitative managers, which are more modern quantitative managers. You can make some friendship between them and uh, also you can you, you you know exactly how to put machine learning outputs because you have lots of algorithm it has some output and how you integrate it with the portfolio management software portfolio management so integration matters because you have different views for example fundamental view has some outputs technical analysis has a different signal has a different view and fundamental technical quantitative so all of them could be integrated in a single framework and that's why that is the beauty and and the beauty of abstraction of uh, black litter men so the classical Markowitz assumption is based that rational investors choose among risky assets purely on the basis of expected return and risk, with risk measure as variance. Investors exhibit quadratic utility, in which case they ignore non-normality in the data. So I just review some basic things. As you know, this is security market line. Expected return of any security uh, is equal to, this is our risk-free return, and this is the uh, market risk premium. So when beta is 1, I mean the beta is equal to beta of the market, then uh, so so here this it show it relates the slope, the slope of this curve of this line, and so it is very intuitive. So the classical Markowitz is minimizing omega transpose omega, which is the uh, standard deviation of the portfolio subject to this constraint. So it produces bad results, high correlation assumption we used in setting up the covariance matrix as it is well known that high correlations will increase the return sensitivity of the optimal solution. So if we just formulate our criterion, I mean this is the utility, we want to maximize the return and minimize the minimize the risk. Risk is simple, simply your um, standard deviation of the portfolio. Uh, when you take derivative with respect to W and you solve it, you get this one. Lambda, uh, this is the risk aversion coefficient. And so this is all you need for 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 the future explanation. And because uh, sometimes you have more sophisticated constraints, that's why you are when you try to maximize a Lagrangian KKT conditions is a more general uh, constraint that you should be uh, you should add. So. So global portfolio optimization, I mean, at the original paper of Fisher Black and Robert Litterman, they didn't talk about Bayesian. They didn't even use the word Bayesian or posterior or something. Uh, but later people wrote different articles and explained that it's, it is ex exactly uh, Bayesian analysis, nothing new. It is deeply rooted in Bayesian analysis, combines those two sources of information, the market equilibrium, they use it as prior information, prior probability, and investor subjective views about some of the answers. So the posterior uh, is very different from the prior because you add some extra data. So information other than sample covariance, uh, sample historical data is useful. The non-sample data would be either fundamental, technical, I add quantitative, machine learning, anything. So, uh, so there is an integration, so it's a black Litterman. So it's an integration framework. You have different signals 
And if you are an active manager, of course, you should you should pay more to active managers uh, rather than traditional passive managers. Uh, so, and uh, active managers believe that, for example, Pepsi Cola is overvalued, um, and uh, Coca Cola is undervalued. So, so market is not efficient. You can use it because the, I mean, the psychology of the invest of of people who are traders are different. That's why you can use these inefficiencies of the market. So, if you use if you are an active um, active portfolio managers. This is a really good framework, and so uh, so you know posterior is proportional to likelihood times prior, and our prior is the first we we start with market conditions. This is the prior in the original paper, and we have add extra information such as technical, fundamental, quantitative machine learning. And all of them, so the posterior changes. So the uh, so so all of these papers are just multiplication to get the posterior, and from that find the weights. So they use uh, this simple uh, uh, example in the original paper in nineteen ninety two. So this is the pi is the equilibrium risk premium on the ice acid, and you have some other factors that that. Uh, affects the return of that, and uh, if you just go that, you know, you know, you you see, you are only trying to minimize this cost function, with respect to, I mean, subject to this, subject to this uh, constraint. So in, uh, so you have the Bayesian formula. And the papers try just try to uh, prove that this formula is true. And P here is a matrix with investors' views. Each row is a specific view of the market. So because you are, you have a portfolio managers, you can add different. I mean, in real time, you can add different visions. We call them, uh, we call them views, and you know each of them has some uncertainty. For example, in one view you have more uncertainty than the other. In one view you you have more. Uh, I mean, you are more sure that your, for example, statistical arbitrage is going uh, to do better because of your historical data, and uh, so you have different levels of uncertainty. And uh, finally, you just add, uh, you, you have just a uh, new covariance matrix. And, uh, and uh, I showed you how to prove that this one, this is very easy, you use it everywhere. But this one now is changed because you have a prior and you have some data, so the posterior changes. And so your covariance matrix is changed. Is changed. And now the new weights, these are weights of the black liter mean approach, I mean, paradigm or framework. So it's not an algorithm, it integrates different uh, paradigms. So.